Hey guys, it's Mr. Levin. Uh, today I'm going to show you real quick how to set up your Discover Journal using Google Drive. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is make sure you've logged into your computer. Duh. Uh, secondly, you'll want to go to Google. And from there, you go over here to this little grid. Click on that. It says Apps. You should have Drive right there, or it might be on the second page. Okay, once your app shows up, this is your drive, this is your home. Most of you guys know where most of this stuff is, so I'm going to go through it quick. Uh, click on Create. I'd like you to create a folder just for our class, just to make sure all our stuff goes in there. We're going to call it Learn. Okay, Levin's class. Alright, I'm creating that business. Now, after it's been created, uh, it should show up somewhere on here. There you go. I want you to open it. And now you're inside of the folder. And go ahead and click Create. I'm going to go ahead and make the Discovery Journal right now. So click on Document. And once this shows up, I'm going to go ahead and rename it. Two things I always want you to do of course would be renaming and sharing. So first I'm going to rename it. But we're going to put your first name. And oops. Nathan. And then we're going to call it Discovery Journal. Okay. Here. And then whatever the period number is. Okay. Alright. So it's kind of like doing a heading up there. Alright. Uh, second thing I'd like you to do is to share it with me. And this is very simple. You just go click share. This will show up. And down here where it says invite people, we'll put rlevin at tscsd.us. Type it down there. Make sure I can edit it. If I can't edit, I, you cannot get graded. And then hit send. I'm going to just hit cancel though. Okay. And when you're done, you hit done. My name should show up. It'll either say that or it'll not have a picture, but 99% sure it'll have a picture. Click done. Alright, so that's done. That's done. Here's what we're going to name it. Uh, this is the cover page of the notebook or your discovery journal. So go ahead and center it. Tab down or center down a few times so you're kind of in the middle. So I've got discovery journal and then put your name. And then the period number. Okay. Cool. You can go back and get this all fancy and everything later on, but for now let's just set this up. Okay, so then hit enter a few times. Going all the way down. Alright, and this is going to be our first thing. It's going to be our table of contents. good okay so we have our table of contents all taken care of right there um, real quick we want to insert an actual table so we're just going to do a simple two column one and you can go down however many you want I would probably just go down like nine or ten let's just do eleven for fun okay and on the left hand side first thing we do is we're going to call it document title okay and then on the other one We'll do page number. Okay. Very simple. So uh, when we're in class and we're going through it, obviously we'll put the title of it there and the page number that it's on and then the date. Okay. And I'll show you how to do page numbers in a second. Uh, so there you go. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Proven. There you are. Okay. And we'll get going on our first assignment.
Okay, now everything I'll explain out on the board for that is very simple and very straightforward. All right, so let's show you how to put page numbers on here. If you don't know how, I believe you go up here to insert, and oh, lo and behold, page number, top of the page, and bam, right there. Okay, um, what I am asking is that you do this kind of MLA style, uh, which is you type your last name. before the page number okay that way when I'm going through grading this I could just scroll down like oh that's so and so okay or actually what would be better is going to be the first and last name but really for MLA you just do the last name so let's just do the last name really quick uh, and there you go that's setting up your notebook uh, you're done you're ready to get going on this uh, if you like to uh, what you should do next is go through and a little decoration kind of customize the front of it uh, as far as the look of it I don't really care what font you use as long as it's simple and easy to read so no permanent marker sharp uh, no ye old English none of that stuff just make it simple and easy to read uh, color I would prefer black or blue or something dark like that no neon pink I know it sounds fun you can use that for your notes if you want but not for actual assignments here because my eyes make me bleed so uh, let's keep it simple with color uh, to change it obviously you click up here it's just like Microsoft Word has all these cool ones on here no I was not using permanent marker that was already there uh, there you go if you'd like to insert a picture the same thing works with every uh, as you could insert it with Microsoft Word just copy and paste all right thanks now if you have any questions you can replay the video or raise your hand and I'd love to come by and talk to you thanks bye